channel before this video starts don't forget to hit the like button subscribe if you're new and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in this video i'm going to be showing you guys a really cool it's not exactly an original trick but it's a variation of a trick so basically a trick i saw and put my own twist to it for the most part so it's really fun it's becoming one of my favorite tricks to perform because it does get good reactions it's a very powerful trick and for the most part it's pretty easy to do so all that being said let's go ahead and get right into it Okay, everybody, so as you guys can see, I have a deck of cards here. We'll go ahead and pull them out of the box. And uh, right here on top, I've actually went ahead and I placed the two black kings and the two red kings. They're going to be our helper cards for this particular trick. So now I'm just going to dribble down just like this. Actually, beforehand, I might um, just shuffle the cards. I might hand the card over to the spectator for them to shuffle them. Just get the cards good and shuffled. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dribble down and have the spectator call stop whenever they want. Call stop right here, perfect. Could have called stop anywhere. In this case, they call it stop on the eight of diamonds. So actually, what I have them do is actually sign this card. So they would sign their eight of diamonds. And now uh, I'm going to ask, do they want it placed in between the red or the black ones? So let's say they want it placed in between the black ones. So I'm actually going to take it and place it right here in between the red ones, just like that. So uh, and over here we have the uh, whoops, we have the two black kings. As you guys can see, we actually don't need them. Uh, for the rest of the trick. So we're actually going to go ahead and take these two and place them in the box just like this. We don't really need them right now. And over here, uh, let's recap for a second. So I had you select the card out of this deck and we placed it here in between the red kings uh, exactly where you wanted. So here's what's going to happen. Uh, I actually want you to take this box so the spectator would take this box and me and the spectator are going to simultaneously shake these two things. So I'm going to shake my pack right here and they're going to shake the box. So one, two, three, just like that. And now, as you can see, there's no longer a card in between these two kings. In fact, um, if the spectator, if you, if you remember correctly, the spectator originally wanted their cards in between the two black kings. So I'd ask them to check in between the two black kings so they would go into the box and find there is now a card in between the two kings and is their sign eight of diamonds. So that is the trick, guys, and now let's learn how to do it. Okay, everyone, so here's the tutorial for the trick you just saw. You're just going to need a random deck of cards, and you're going to need to pull out the two black kings and the two red kings just like that. You don't really have to. They can be in the middle of the deck for this trick to work, uh, but it, you know it's better just to go ahead and have it already on top. You can start them out, have it in the box. Go ahead and actually pull out uh, any jokers or double backers that might come with this deck, as I already have done, you guys can see. And uh, once you do that, you are ready to go. So... You got your deck of cards ready in the box. You're going to pull them out and say, okay, I have on top of the deck here, I went ahead and put the two black kings and the two red kings. And now the rest of the deck uh, can be shuffled up. So the spectator can take it and shuffle it up. You can shuffle it up. It doesn't really matter. So get the cards good and shuffled just to show there's no way you can know the order of these cards. So once the cards are shuffled, what you're going to do is you're going to have the spectator select a card. You can do this in a few ways. Um, here's the way I did the performance and the way I prefer to do it, but I'm going to show you guys a few other ways you can do. So the way I did it, was I dribbled down and had them call it stop. Whenever they call it stop, I cut to where they said stop. So, I mean, it is a free choice. And I did a double lift. So, if you don't know what that is, uh, my buddy over on the Cardmaster X YouTube channel has a tutorial um, on the double lift, a very in-depth tutorial. So, you guys, if you don't know how to do that, go watch that video and come back knowing how to do the double lift, and you'll be ready to go. So, basically, um, you're going to do a double lift. So, you get a break, basically, under two cards and flip it over. The way I like to do it is a pinky, pinky break or a pinky count, just like that. You just riffle down two cards just like that, but you can do it any way you want. The easiest way for a beginner is probably just to lift up on the top two cards just like that and flip it over just like that. So they've caught stop on the Ace of Clubs, and in reality, uh, you flipped over two cards. So they think they've chosen the Ace of Clubs, and now you're going to have them sign this card. If you don't want to mess up your cards, um, you can just get like a strip of tape or something and put over it just like that and have them sign their name on that. Uh, regardless, they'll get them to sign this card. And you can do it without getting it signed, but the trick is a lot more powerful if the card is signed. So now, after they've signed the card, you're going to flip the double back over, and now you're going to take what they think is their card and place it in between any of these two kings. So that's why I'm saying you kind of need to do it in a particular way. What you could do is you could just go th spread through and tell them to touch the back of any card. Don't say pull out, just touch the back, and whichever one they touch the back of, you can pull out just like that. Say, okay, you could have chosen any card, and in this motion, you do a push-off pinky break. Say, okay, so in this motion, you do a push-off pinky break, just like that, okay? And then you place this on top. And do a double lift just like that, okay? So you can do that, or you can have them 100% free choice, choose a card, just like that. 
and then after and then uh, after they're done signing it or whatever, you can take it and do a top change just like that. So you basically just switched out their card, put it on top with a completely random card just like that. So if you don't know how to do the top change, if you guys want to do it this way, I have a tutorial on my channel. Um, I'll leave a link down in the description so you guys can go check it out if you guys want to learn how to do the top change. But basically the easiest way to me is just dribble down, call it stop, cut where they said stop at, and just do a double lift. In this case, they have selected the five of spades. Just remember it is a double lift, so there's a random card on top of that. After they sign it, you're going to flip it back over and place it in between one of the two kings. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to ask them which king do they want in between, which two do they want in between. And if they say the red ones... Place it in between the black ones because it's just, you know, it's kind of comedic. You don't have to do it this way. You can do, you know, your own style to it. This is just the way I like to do it. Um, so, you know, it's just kind of comedic. So if they want it between the red ones, you can say, okay, black ones it is or something like that. And just be a little comedic. Be funny, you know. Um, it's really fun to be a comedic person that, when you're doing a magic trick. It makes it a lot more entertaining. But at the same time, you can do whatever you want. This is, you know, put your own style to this. So after you place the card in between the two kings, what you're going to do is you're just going to leave it there for a second. And now you're going to pick this deck up. And as you come over to grab the other kings, you're, this hand's going to come over, grab the other kings. This hand's going to go down away from them, and you're going to do a push-off pinky break. So that's basically just taking your thumb, pushing off the top card, and bringing it back, and holding a break right there. Now you're holding a break. You're going to take the kings, place them on top just like that, and now you're going to show, you're going to pull this king back. So now you're holding a break um, underneath those three cards, so basically the two kings and the spectator selection. So you're just going to pull that card back and say, okay, as you can see, we have the two kings. As you push this back the square up, you're going to grab everything at the break and continue to go forward and bring this down. Now you're going to come grab the box. So basically what you've done is you just look like you were showing the two kings just like that. And then you're going to, after you're done with that and you push it back, it looks like you just grab them off the top of the deck. Because you could just lay it on top of the deck and then pick it right back up. But that would be kind of weird because why would you lay it on top of the deck in the first place? So I just like to... Pull it back, show the two kings, and as I come back up, I immediately just grab it the break. And it looks very fooling. It looks very convincing. So now you have these cards right here you're going to take, and you're going to show, look, I have the king, two kings. We're going to take them and place them between the box. So now you have their card in between the two kings, and you just kind of want to be careful not to flash or anything and put it in the box just like that. So now, you know, this part of the trick's already done. You already have the kings with the card in between it in the box. So now you're going to say, okay, so let's recap. You're going to pick up the deck. And now what you're going to do is you're going to spread it out. Now, you can do a normal spread just like this, but you don't want it to look too nice. You kind of want this to be a sloppy spread. So you can just, you know, do something like that, whatever, and it got to be too nice. But what I like to do is a dribble spread. So I take it and just dribble it just like that. So that way it's just this mess. It's not super spread and neat or anything. And that's kind of what you want. You want it kind of sloppy, okay? You're going to say, look, so we have, you chose a card out of this deck, and we placed it in between the two kings. So now what you're going to do is a little bit of a secret move here. You're holding this in middle grip. You're going to basically swipe off that top card, come over, grab that middle card, and then place this bottom card on top. So you basically just reverse count them the first time. Now you're going to do it a second time, but you're going to do something a little different. You're going to take the king, and you're going to move it to the bottom, and you're going to grip it with these fingers. So now you're holding that king at the bottom as you come back to grab that card. So now you have the two kings here, and you have their selection in your hand, or the random card in your hand. They think it's their selection and you're moving it to the bottom. So it looks like you just reverse count the cards twice, and in reality, you actually have uh, this random card at the bottom of these kings now, okay? So, now what you're going to do is, whenever you move this to the bottom, so you're going to have this card, and whenever you swipe it off and you're starting to move it to the bottom, keep a thumb break on it just like that. So you're holding a break with your thumb, separating the two kings from that random card, as you guys can see, okay? So just hold that there. And now what you're going to do is you're going to come over and grab this box to hand it to him. Now, this is the part that's going to take a bit of misdirection. You guys actually might have seen this move um, whenever I did the trick, and that's just because there's no way of really hiding it very well without misdirection. So when the camera's just staying right at me, it's kind of hard to misdirect you from the camera. But if this was a spectator, you could easily um, misdirect them. So what you're going to do is you're going to hand them the box. And whenever you hand them the box, this hand's going to come down, and it's going to just drop that card on top of that little spread just like that. So that's why you spread the cards out. And that's why you find it kind of sloppy. Because this card might slide down. And if it's like a really nice spread. And all of a sudden you got this card sitting something like that. It might look a little suspicious. Like they might you know notice something. So just make a nice sloppy spread. And then you're going to basically just drop that card on there. Um, while Whenever you hand them this box. Now a little tip obviously. Um, you're misdirecting them. So their focus is on this box. They're not going to. Trust me. They're not going to see you drop that card. Okay. But what, you're, what I do recommend not doing is, like, having it way up here and dropping it, okay? That, you know, they'll hear the plop sound. They might, you know, they might see something like that. So just my tip is to just have the card really close to the back and drop it on there. 
And then you guys, you know, you hand them the box, tell them to shake at the same time. And the trick's pretty much done. You've done all the sleight of hand necessary. Um, the trick's pretty much done by this point. You two just shake uh, your box and your pack of cards at the same time. You show that there is no longer a card in between the two kings. And you say, if you remember originally, you wanted your card in between the red kings. So go ahead and check in between the red kings. Obviously, they know the red kings are in the box. They pretty much already know what's about to happen. They open up the box, and they, boom, they see their signed card in between the red kings just like that. It's a super powerful trick. It gets great reactions. Super fun for, like, a crowd of people. Like, you know, this kind of be a little difficult for one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, it could be one-on-one, -on -one, but seeing as how you have, like, a table and everything, this is a really cool trick when you have, like, a huge crowd of people. Um, so that, yeah, that's a really fun trick. Again, this is not original. This is just my variation. So, you know, I've put my own twist to this kind of trick, whatever you, you could say. So I've changed the sleight of hand like a little bit, but this is a really fun trick. It's becoming one of my favorites to perform as of late and it's just super fun to do. And again, it gets great reactions. Thank you guys for watching. We're trying to get, um, to 400 subscribers for my birthday, which is September 3rd. So let's please try to hit that milestone. And with all that said, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. See you later.